Hey everybody, welcome back to yet another episode of All You Need to Know About World of Warships. Today we're looking at the Tier 10 American Battleship Armor Layout, the Montana. And let's get straight into it. 32mm standard bow, pretty sizable target area over here. And also 32mm standard stern, again a pretty sizable target. There's no rudder room housing protection on the outside here. We have a main belt of 409 millimeters, just above uh, the 16 inches, with a Citadel armor belt here. You can see it's barely at the waterline, but we'll we'll get a closer look at that later. 38 millimeters of deck armor and 38 millimeters of the side armor into 19 millimeter standard superstructure. But frontly, you do have a pretty sizable conning tower profile, which does make it harder for uh, certain ships to be able to just lull pen your superstructure from the front. You do have these uh, pretty sizable conning towers, which. I mean, realistically, would be in completely inside, but uh, you know the, the bridge area. But I'm, I'm not sure how well that's modeled. But when it comes to HE shells, it doesn't really matter because it's 19 here, and it's going to take the shell most likely for damage up until the point you saturate it. But what's important about 38 millimeters of armor? Well, it means that the 8-inch guns, the 203 millimeter guns, will not be able to HE pen you. You'll need either German 20.3 centimeter guns to do so because of the caliber by four, or you'll need IFHE, which nobody really runs on. The uh, 8 inch 20.3 centimeter 203 millimeter caliber guns because it generally doesn't really give you much use. I mean, yeah, you, you can pen US battleship decks, but that's kind of about it. However, if you have any, you know, you're facing, say, you know, Russian 180s, uh, Dmitry Donsky, them shooting AG at you, they'll deal uh, with IFAG, they'll be doing full damage to your deck armor, so do be aware of that. And of course, when you're broadside, people can shoot AP as cruisers up into your upper plate here and deal some pretty decent damage in the penetration damage through your ship. Our vets here are 541mm with a 457mm frontal turret armor. Your side armor is not really that good, but in general this is sloped well enough that your gun turrets aren't the easiest picks for uh, other ships uh, that aren't, you know, battleships at close range where they'll likely have enough penetration to either shoot through your uh, your turret face or to shoot through your barbettes. Same goes for the rear area, it's the exact same turret and barbette armor layout there. Now moving on inside, let's hide the extremities. We'll see that your rear warship is 387 millimeters with 324 the lower area and at your front you still get a pretty solid 457 millimeter citadel at warship, 432 on the lower end there but you're never really gonna hit that. But what does this mean is that Yamato's you know, they'll still easily be able to just shoot clean through your bow and then clean into your citadel of warship. Now, this armor plating here is, uh, I mean, it's, it's armor plating, but it's only penetration damage potential behind it. You're not really going to be able to just shoot clean into the ship easily. While you do have a citadel deck here of 19 millimeters, and you might think, wow, 38 into 19, that's pretty vulnerable, but there is a, a deck plating here. I'm not sure of the actual in-game value. You'd probably have to look it up on, on Game Model 3D, but um, this thing isn't really vulnerable to midway AP bombs at all. You're just taking full penetration damage, obviously, but your citadel will not take full damage. Historically, there would be a 150 to 200 millimeters uh, actual splinter deck inside uh, the area here. So that wouldn't really be a problem. But hiding that... We can see internally, the main uh, barbettes here are also 541mm thick. This is, of course, the area that's covered only by the 38mm of armor. So cruisers and lighter guns are going to have a difficult time trying to break your gun turrets by just simply shooting AP through the area here. Although, if they are able to shoot through the 409mm of uh, belt armor, they potentially could contest the 51mm of uh, barbette armor right behind it. The distance here shouldn't really be enough to armor that the shells. I'm not actually certain about that one, but uh, you can always try that out in training rooms to find out. But in the end, if we just hide all of that stuff, there's nothing really too special with the Montana's armor layout. We can see that the uh, the belt here, it's it's slightly sloped, slightly sloped, and the lower area is pretty well sloped. It's a si really sizable target on the other hand, though, but uh, it's, a, it's just small, you know, you know, sizable target in width. It's not a sizable target in terms of the elevation above the water. Which means that in general, if you're away turning, it's not necessarily going to be the easiest thing to do unless you're actually able to shoot through the main belt or lull pen through this area and hit the warship. If you're in turning, however, you're basically pulling the area that's underwater up above water, which means that if you're in turning at long range, people will have an easier time citadeling you. If you're away turning at long range, chances are people are going to have a harder time being able to do so. 
But there really aren't any real quirks with the Montana's armor layout. There's no real torpedo bullets here to absorb HE shells, like, for example, the Amagi. There's no rudder room housing armor there. We can have a quick look inside just to show you that. You do have the full of warship, though. You can see that there and the plating at the front there. But it doesn't really matter because even if you do, you know, hit, say, for example, here and you lull pen the, um, the 32, then hit the warship, you're not really going to Citadel that at that kind of an angle anyways. So, you know, the Citadel of warship is down there. So even if you do impact a shell and aim for that, it's 180 millimeters at this kind of an angle. It's still way too much for you to be able to realistically be able to, to perforate with any shell. So, um, in the end, Montana's armor layout doesn't really rely on, you know, special armor layouts such as the Germans or even the French with their turtle backs. In the end, it's just raw armor thickness and the size of it. If you fail to hit the right areas, you're not going to be dealing Citadel damage to it. So with that, let's hop into the training room and have a look at how this fares up against some Russian 305mm guns. Alright, as we saw in the fort, Montana armor doesn't really have any weird turtle backs. It doesn't really have any you could say quote unquote gimmicky armor it's pretty much straightforward raw thickness so you can just grab a calculator and uh, figure out the exact thickness of armor you need to go through as with pretty much every ship in the game you, you are able to target the barbette by shooting through the hull armor and being able to break some gun turrets in this case one shell went too low and we did actually get a citadel on top of that so that was definitely a worthwhile shot but in general if you just in general if you target this kind of area and hope for bad dispersion i suppose you know, or you just try to shoot through the barbette area, yeah, you can break Montana gun towers reasonably easily and still do some okay kinds of damage. But in general, if you only have one close pass and you're confident in your ability to aim, it generally isn't worth it because usually it probably is just better to aim it straight for the waterline, especially if it's in turning and just shoot straight into the citadel for a boatload of damage. <laughs> So that's really about it. There is nothing really special about Montana armor in this kind of sense. It's raw thickness, so compare the thickness of the armor to the penetration of your guns. Or something like a battleship Yamato or a battleship Republic or any real battleship. If you get the shells to land in the right spot, you definitely can cause some solid citadel damage. And that's really the difficulty. We can see here only 21k with only one citadel. You can see the impact angles too high, too high, too high, way too high, way too high. So it's just it's just a simple matter of getting your shells to land in the correct spot. If they don't do so, then you're going to have a really, really bad time with it. But as it is your thickness, most even cruisers are fully capable of getting up close and personal to you within like 1.52 kilometers range. Something like a Zao, something like a Des Moines can easily just shoot into your Citadel for lots and lots of damage with their incredibly high DPM compared to that of your guns. So uh, do be aware of that. And of course, as you do have a standard 32mm bow, and it's very, very big and extended, if you have a Yamato to shoot at something like this, remember, don't care about the size of the bow, care about the uh, warship armor behind it. So a shot like this with a Yamato with AP could easily do some damage. But if you're in something that isn't the Yamato, you, you can just load HE and do that to the front of the uh, Montana fighters out there. That probably would have amounted to like 12,000 damage. Of course, do be aware this will saturate incredibly quickly, and the amount of damage you'll deal Reliably like this is not going to be good enough to just upfront sink a Montana over the course of the, the time you're likely to survive sitting here shooting them like this. But anyways, I'll show you guys some Yamato Bow on Citadel against the Montana High Need to Aim there, along with some Midway AP bombs just to demonstrate that this ship is not vulnerable to being Citadel with the likely very thick uh, bomb deck. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Much shorter video, much less to realistically talk about overall. Nothing too special about the armor layout. Like I said, it is pure thickness, so grab a calculator and you'll figure out exactly what you need in terms of penetration to be able to perforate the Citadel armor and cause full damage to this ship. <laughs> Thank you.